Hi everyone, welcome to this simple step-by-step -step tutorial where you learn all about Canva. At the end of this tutorial, you'll be amazed at what you can do. Exciting, right? So, let's start. First, sign up with your Google account and you're good to go. Simple as that. All the paid features have a crown, but they're totally free for educators. Let's dive in. So, these are the things you can do in Canva. So you have social posts on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, you name it. You have infographics, banners, you can do videos, thumbnails, cartoons, documents, presentations, play with your photos. You can do so many things here. Check them out. For the sake of this video, I'll create a video. On your left, you've got your options. Designs, elements, text, brand, uploads, you can even draw, and apps. So, let's start with the design first. Choose one. Just drag your option to your Canva. Beautiful, isn't it? Now, let's explore our options. Let's choose some elements. Browse or type what you're looking for. Choose the one you like. Resize it and place it wherever you want to. Let's choose another one, okay? Looks about right. You have all these lines that help you position your objects. Do you want them in the middle, in the right corner, you name it. Another one, please. This time, I'll choose a frame. And then insert another video there, inside. Let's have a look at it. So, I'm going back to elements, I'll choose a video, but you can choose stickers, graphs, animations, so many others. The video stays within the frame. Now, let's animate it, look at the options. All you have to do is choose one. Ready? Okay. Now let's choose the font. You can choose whichever you want, or you can even have one of these which are already here for you to choose. So then you can resize it, position where you want it, you can animate it, whatever suits you best. You can change the color as well. If you don't like any of the colors you have here, you have another palette where you can choose from the color you prefer. Okay. You can also delete this or give it another effect. Let's animate the letters. What do you think? I'm animating all of them. Okay, if you want to add effects to the letters, you can also do that. Play around with its options. Curvy or straight? Okay, let's place the letters where you desire, drag them, choose the position, you know the drill. Okay, how about some snow right now? Let's go to elements. Let me choose snow and let me show you around. Okay, now you can place it and resize. That's it. You can also decrease or increase the length of your video. Just drag it. Easy peasy. Now, Imagine you want to split the page. Place this marker in the right spot and click on the right button. Next, the split video option. You can then choose another design and replace the old one. You 
can upload a file or record yourself. Your uploads will be divided into videos, images and audio. Imagine I have two elements and I want one over the other. Well, click on the right button and choose layer. Then bring to the front and that's it. Magical, right? Okay, you have two elements but you want them to appear in different times. Okay, and you just want one to appear in the middle of the video and the one from the beginning. Let's do that. Okay, so you have to click on the right button and then click show time and then just resize it. You can also delete what you like, choose another design or stay with the same design in all your canvas. If you go to apps and choose pixels, you have free photos, royalty free. Choose one, drag it, choose an element. Have a look at the choices. Wow, you have so many stickers, graphics, videos, photos, frames, charts, music, and you can then add everything to your project. How brilliant is that? Okay, now let's try and choose a chart and see what we can do with it. Okay, you can change the data, the colors, animate it, you name it, it's your choice. You can also resize the length easily, see? You can increase the size for a better view, okay. How about some transitions? Choose your favorite and then apply to all pages if you want to, or you can choose a transition for each of the Canva you have. Finally, we can share it with a link or download it. It comes with a default file type. Any doubts, do write in the comments. I'll be sure to answer back quickly. Now. Do you agree with me that this is easy, intuitive and absolutely mind-blowing? You need to browse it, you need to scroll it, you need to try it out because this is fantastic. And once you understand how it works, you can do mind-blowing projects, I assure you. I have done all my, my work in YouTube and in Pinterest with this and this is really amazing and it's all for free. Brilliant. Okay. So you know always bring you the best free tools out there. So don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification button so that I can keep on bringing you the best of the best. So thanks for watching. Bye bye for now.